by Michael Knight and developed sustainable packaging for PrintPack. I've been nominated by a colleague, Bill Barlow, to participate in the store drop-off challenge. To meet that challenge, I'll be showing you how to recycle flexible packaging at a local store. We'll start with the How to Recycle program. It's a packaging labeling system that tells you how to prep a package, where it can be recycled, and how. Here's a label from the bottom of a box of Cheerios. You notice there's two labels, one for the box and one for the bag. The box can be dropped off in your curbside bin. The bag can't be. That's a contaminant in that recycle stream. The bag, on the other hand, needs to be clean and dry and taken to a participating store. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's talk about what can be recycled. Anything with the How to Recycle logo that says store drop-off. You can also recycle produce bags, plastic shipping envelopes. Make sure you cut off any paper labels because those are contaminants in this feed stream. Bread bags, dry cleaning bags, taste wrap for like water, air pillows and bubble wrap. Make sure you pop the bubbles first because it's fun and it freaks the dogs out. Newspaper bags, Ziploc bags, and towel and tissue over wrap. These can all be dropped off at your local store. For where to drop off, go to howtorecycle.info slash sdo. Hit find locations. Enter your zip code and you'll be given a list of local retailers that are participating in the store drop-off program. Within three miles of my home, there are seven such stores and many of them are places you probably currently frequent. So to actually participate, collect your approved flexible packaging in a larger bag. When the bag gets full, just throw it in your car and head to the store. Now what I typically do next is forget about the bag for a month, maybe two. But eventually when I'm at the store, I remember it's back here. And I take the two bags I have and drop them off. the bags to the store, take note of how light they are. That's a couple months of packaging and it weighs the same as a glass jar. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. The last step is for me to challenge someone else. I have one professional and one personal challenge. I'd like to challenge my colleague Autumn Stewart and my friends Mike and Lindsay Hadari. The content for this video was gleaned from the websites listed here. I encourage you to check these out and learn more about this worthy program.